wow, there's so much to say about muscovite. Um, it has low to moderate relief. Um, these are cut perpendicular to the cleavage plane. So there's little skinny lines that you're seeing there. Those are the cleavage planes. Um, it is not pleochroic. I'm not sure why my particular camera seems to show some pleochroism. But these high order interference colors and this bird's eye extinction is absolutely characteristic of muscovite. And we'll talk more about bird's eye extinction in just a second. So here are a couple of grains of muscovite, very large ones, um, in different orientations. So when I cross the polars, you'll see that one of them is almost gray, and that's because you're looking down on a cleavage face. Um, and the other one has this sort of purple to, to red colors. Um, but it has these little dots in there, and those little dots are called, it's called bird's eyes. Um, it's named after bird's eye maple. This is especially characteristic of muscovite. Now you're going to see a lot of different grains in different orientations. They'll give you a sense of the range of interference colors. There are going to be some gray ones where the cleavage planes are parallel to the plane of the thin section, nearly. Um, and then some other ones that have higher order interference colors, this sort of bright pastels. Um, but they all have bird's eye extinction to some degree. Um, and so that's one thing that you can look out for in, uh, for identifying muscovite. This is muscovite in a very graphitic rock. All of the black stuff in there is graphite. And sometimes when you look at these rocks with this fine grain material, you're not quite sure what that mineral is until you cross the polars and then you see those bright interference colors um, that are so characteristic of muscovite. And if you go into really high magnification, then sometimes you can pick out some bird's eye extinction. This is fairly typical for schists. Sometimes the muscovite is so fine-grained, it's hard to pick out individual crystals. This is muscovite in a blue schist. All that pale blue material around it is glaucophane. Um, there's some pale green chlorite, very similar relief. Um, when you cross the polars, you'll see the muscovite. It has these beautiful blues and, um, and magenta colors. Uh, it also has this bird's eye extinction. Now, muscovite in Lucius and Eclogites has a high silica content, and then it's called fengite. And this is now muscovite in an Eclogite. All the green material, high relief crystals around the outside are clinopyroxene, sodic clinopyroxene. Um, the fengite are those clear crystals in the middle, uh, low relief, lower relief. And again, you can see the bird's eye extinction in those sort of typical um, muscovite high order interference colors. This last one um, is actually pleochroic muscovite. It uh, has a high chromium content, and it has a special name. It's called fuchsite. Um, but uh, it has this funny green, bluish green color, but when you cross the polars, you'll see it has those high order uh, muscovite um, interference colors. Okay, I lied. This is actually the last one. I put this muscovite in here just because it is so spectacular uh, in cross polars. Uh, so you'll see that as it, as it comes around. Isn't that incredible? That's so spectacular. I love muscovite.